Congratulations. Welcome. Yeah, Lapsy. You did it. David, you've been involved with a lot of projects to do with Everest and other mountains over the years. Would it be fair to say that this one, Everest, is the most realistic, dramatic version that you've worked on? This is the most realistic, dramatic, and exciting Everest project I've ever worked on, and it's the one I'm the most proud of as well. One of the reasons it means so much to me is because I was on the mountain in 1996, uh, many of the people who died on the mountain I knew well. Um, some that were seriously um, injured from frostbite I knew well. Uh, and, and then it's also been a 13-year journey from working on this film with Working Title Films and Universal. And so it's kind of got under my skin and it got under Tim Bevan's skin and he never let go of this project. We also wanted this film to be as realistic as possible. And, and just getting the mountain to be a really glorious and majestic and at times violent character was important. So we actually climbed the mountain for working title films in Universal in 2004. We went from base camp to the summit with a great big Airy 435, a big film camera, and we've used other imagery from flying around that mountain in a helicopter at um, 28,300 feet. So when I look at this film, I see a mountain that, that looks r very real. She is a cruel mistress. Ever Everest, I know you've been up there five times. The, the casualty rate in, over the years has been very, very high. Can you understand people like me, David, who might emerge in the cinema and go, why do people do this? It's the eternal question, isn't it? You know, I could understand why you would want to climb that mountain because I understand why I wanted to climb it. Um, I was an 11-year-old boy and I saw an, a, a book, uh, opened a book, and I saw a picture of Tenzing on top, the picture taken by Edmund Hillary, May 29, 1953. And that image just meant so much to me and, and how it turned into an aspirational dream one doesn't really know that journey in life, but I know that I thought that was the best thing a boy could aspire to, was to stand on top of, of that mountain. And why you or anyone else would, would look at an image of Everest or hear that name and want to go there is a very, very individual choice. But I would honor your choice because I don't know your intent or anybody else's intent or motive. It's so personal. What I would think is, if you want to go climb that big mountain, that take the time and do the work to develop the skills and experience to be there in a, and climb in a self, safe and self-reliant manner. Very quickly, David, when you see movies over the years that mightn't be very realistic about what you do, uh, do, you, do you get annoyed? Do you take it in any way personally? I'm talking about Cliffhanger, for example, of Sly Stallone. I, I believe you worked on that, though. I mean, are they considered realistic in the community? The climbing community can be quite true blue and quite purist and, 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 play, and quite snarky about things. That's just the way they are, and sometimes I have been. But Cliffhanger was trying to be exactly what it wanted to be, you know, a, a, a popcorn movie. Other films veer so far from what that experience is like, probably because uh, probably because the, all the research and the writing uh, wasn't there, or the producers and director didn't desire that authenticity. But Tim Bevan set the tone for this film, and the writers, and the director, and the actors, that we were going to get it right, and we did. No, I'm not leaving you behind, Doug. Come on. Got a rest. No, Doug. Come on. Come on with me. Only 10 good minutes, Doc. Come on. Please, Nicky, come on. Two minutes. We get to the bottom of the step. Oh, this leg. This leg, Doc. Come on. Come on. There we go. Where are you? Come on, doggy! 
Let's go! Hurry up! 